warming experience. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, to go to uh, Karbala in Muharram itself um, was uh, a target of mine or a dream of mine, if mm. you will. And uh, to actually be invited by Imam himself is a big, big honor, mm. huge honor. Um, and it was for the purpose, main purpose of reciting, like you're saying, doing the tabligh in our own way. And um, that in itself brings that responsibility, like you just said. So my expectations for the first time was uh, nervous in a little way because Muharram, you hear about all these things that go on in Karbala mm -hmm. on the day of Ashura itself, um, on the 10th of Muharram. So it was all uh, a little bit, not so much nervous, maybe more anxiety. You were just anxious a little bit to see what to expect. You don't know. Um, so the Muharram atmosphere in Karbala is uh, second to none, mm. one hundred percent. As I'm sure, if you like, you said you've experienced in that in the atmosphere sense. I'm sure nothing's changed from uh, day one to now. Yeah, yeah. Um, because yeah. the Aza, the Ram of Imam Hussein alayhi salam is alive from, like I said, day of one to now. Alhamdulillah, a miracle yeah. in itself. Yeah. Um, from a reciter's point of view, the uh, job that I was going to do there to recite and that the responsibility Imam had given me. Um, it was very, you know, you had to get it in your mind to make sure you deliver. Mm. You come through and uh, hope that it's accepted by Imam alayhi salam. So uh, in, when it came to preparation, I'll be honest, the first time I went, um, I didn't prepare as well. If you will, I think part of it was because of maybe the nerves or the anxiety right. just to see. So it was more a case of, okay, let's jump into it. And then inshallah, we will go day by day. Yeah. Um, it went well, alhamdulillah. But you know, as, uh, as I'm sure you would say, any, any recitation you do, anything you do, uh, when you perform something, you will criticize yourself yeah. to the, a new level to make sure you improve, to make sure you progress for the sake of Imam, for the sake of yeah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And uh, I think that was uh, something I, just me personally, um, stood out for me quite a lot. So that the second time that I went, uh, I made sure to prepare a lot more. Mm. And um, I think the second time when we went, the, we didn't have a lecturer within our group. So okay. myself and uh, my dear brother Abbas Lalji, we both went together and we were told to recite the Masaib as well. And this okay. is something we've never ever done, ever done before. Really? So that now again brought more responsibility of Imam that he had given us. And again, as an honor, 100%. So this definitely required some preparation because that's a field that we've never been to. Mm. Um, so it was different in that case, like, yeah, and you know, one year you do the, your, your, your comfort zone. Mm. And in the second year, we, even though we were still reciting the Nohas, the Latmiyas, but we were put into a deeper end um, by uh, needing to recite the Masayab. Um, of the various shahada of Karbala yeah. as well.